Good morning, everyone. This is Lola Wrist with LolaWrist.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I am running a couple of minutes ahead, but also a little bit late. I was hoping to be on earlier, so give me just a minute, and we will get this pulled up, and we're going to get started. I have a busy day ahead. There it is. Okay, all right, so I wanted to do a, a card today and I wanted to use it with my um, techniques class on Wednesday, but I'm also kind of in the mood of doing um, all of the retreat stuff, which is the garden birdhouses. So today's card is gonna be a fold, it's a diamond trifold, and I wanna turn this around and get us started here. If you come in and I don't knock don't acknowledge you. I'm, I'm, my comments are up, but I may miss you. I'm trying to move ahead because I got an appointment at 10 and I need to get to that. So let's get this going here. That's why we started early. For those of you that normally know I'm here at nine. So this is our diamond trifold. Um, it is an easy card to do, but I love how it lays and, and um, gives you the impression of the three diamonds and then you open it up to a surprise. And you may be wondering where the greeting is. That's actually on the actual on the back of it so that oh, it's got a little adhesive. Um, you can write on the back side and it still stands up for display purposes for your person that's wanting to see it from the front but they've got their private message on the back. So we're gonna go on ahead and get started. I start off first with a piece of eight and a half by 5.5 Sweet Sorbet, and I scored it at four and a quarter and at two and an eighth. So I'm gonna go on ahead and fold these like so. And then I'm gonna fold this one back like an accordion type fold. Okay, just like that. Okay, next we're gonna have two mats. <clears throat> I need two mint macaron mats that are four and an eighth by five and a quarter. And I'm gonna go on ahead and put those on. This is the, uh, the seal, and I've been trying to use it and learn a new adhesive process. And everything has a learning curve. So, you know, if it does something weird, I have my backup trusty snail over to the side. Okay, now I'm also gonna put the other mat on the back side of where that one is. Just like that. And on the back side, I'm going to go on ahead and use this little piece of white, which is four. Good morning, Jana. I got started early today, girl, because I have a hair appointment. I can't miss that. You know, we got to get to our hair appointments. So I'm, I'm moving faster today. So, um... This will be a card that we're doing on Wednesday, Jana, at the um, techniques class. So then I also have two mats that are two by five and three eighths, and no need to write them down. I have just got it on my um, my blog, and I have the PDF already there. So all you have to do is go on to lolarist.com today and you can print them right off okay so it's kind of a dreary day out just kind of yucky we had a wonderful weekend with family here and everybody got to meet calvin and 
That was really nice. Just awesome to have everybody here. Okay, so I have taken the um, DSP that is from the um, um, Country Florals, and that's where I'm going to use for my country florals. And I actually, I think I got it a little bit too big. So I'm gonna cut it down just a hair. And I probably shouldn't do this, but I can do it because I've got that check line all the way across. Okay. And then I'm gonna do the same with this one. So these should be one and three fourths by five and three eighths. It helps when you have lines on the paper itself. Good morning, Arla. Arla, I'm running early today because I have a hair appointment. You know, we can miss a lot of things in life, but we cannot miss hair appointments. My gal is hard to get into and if I'm not there by five after, she's gonna be calling saying, where are you? Because I need you here. Okay. So I was reading up on this, the stamp and seal yesterday because I still have some issues with it. And someone said that if you take, and this by the way is four by five and a quarter, if you take it and as you're running it and it um, stops, if you go back over a little of the adhesive, it'll, it'll pull it again on your tape and it'll start running again. The other thing I did was um, I like to keep an acrylic mat close by and that, that makes a difference too. Oh my gosh, an order for 62 cards, that's awesome. Jonna, that's awesome. Hi, Tina. Nice to have you with us. I said I'm running early because I have a hair appointment. Now, I have this little piece here. This was four by five and a quarter. And this down here was the two inches. I used one of the two inches because it comes six by six. So I have this six by six piece and I cut four inches off. And then I used this two inches to cut down to fit here. But I had this little piece left over. And that's gonna actually go on the back side of my card. I'm just gonna use it for a little piece of decoration on the back. I mean, what else am I gonna do with it? I was gonna throw it away. So just, well, use it, okay? I'm gonna put it down here. Okay. So there's the start of my card. There's the start. It's a Z fold card. And it's gonna have diamonds on the front and a diamond in the middle. And then when you open it up, you can turn it over and you can write your greeting on the back, okay? All right, so we have a mat here that is two and seven eighths square. And this one is one, uh, two and three fourths square. All right, and we have two more little diamonds. This is, this one here is one and seven eighths and one and three fourths. It's kind of easy to remember because this is um, the same measurement with one inch more. So this is one and seven eighths, this is two and seven eighths. This is one and three fourths, this is two and three fourths. And you need two of these little ones. Okay, so this is what she said. When you get to where you can't run it, you can either advance it with your finger or you can put it on your acrylic um, mat and it will catch on the acrylic mat just enough to pull that adhesive. Or you can go back over here and start and that will run it. And I didn't, I didn't get that to work. So I don't know. It's still a learning curve for me but I am determined that I'm gonna learn it. I better, because I bought a bunch of it. Okay. Uh, 
I also find that it is much stickier. Good morning, Chris. It's stickier so that it goes a lot. You don't have to have as much, okay? All right, so now let's do a little bit of stamping. We're gonna start with the, I have the garden birdhouse. That's the whole week. I'm going to be working with garden birdhouses off and on all week. We're going to get sick of birds by the time we're done. Okay, one of the things I want to do is I want to make sure that my placement of my greeting is in the perfect spot. So I'm going to line this up so that this point and this point, it's exactly even. And I have to get my birthday greetings low, lower than I had it here. Up here, I think I have it a little high and I hit the B. So I'm gonna to try to bring it down just a hair. So that S is just gonna be on, wish is just gonna be on the edge of the paper. Okay, should be a little bit lower than it was. Okay, then I'm gonna go on ahead and I'm gonna take the branch. And I want the branch to be somewhat hidden. So I'm gonna go on ahead and put my branch up like so. Okay. And then I'm gonna go on ahead and I'm gonna stamp on a piece of paper. I'm gonna stamp the birdhouse. And I went with the smallest of the birdhouses. And I'm also gonna stamp three birds. Very quickly color them in. Okay, and we'll go this way. And then I'm just gonna go on ahead and color in my birdhouse real fast. So I have gotten this color combo is the one that's in the garden, um, the gingham country gingham and I really like that paper and it's a good thing because I have a whole bunch of it sitting at my house right now although it's going to be going to church here this weekend so I'm going to go on ahead and color this in and I'm not going to color cut out the birds I will just uh, show you where I will put them I'll finish it up after the hair appointment. Okay. And then we need, change up the rest, make it crumb cake. Okay. All right, so very quickly, I'm gonna cut off, or cut out the birdhouse. I am not a fancy paper cutter. I like my dies and punches much better. But I know that before Lola and paper crafting met, they were cutting everything out by hand. And it's probably a good thing that I did not meet paper crafting until after that. Because chances are, I'd say, yeah, forget that. And I have to admit, I mean, the, the big shot, that was one of the first things I bought. It's like, hello. I remember my husband, my son-in-law and I, Adam had helped me and we put it together. They were here one weekend and he's always into looking at stuff like that. And he and I started playing and the next thing I know, we ran something through and it popped and we were like, oh my gosh, we broke it already. Well, it pops because it pops because of the, um, good morning, uh, Kathy. It pops because of the um, 
plate popping. I didn't break anything, but the look on both of our faces, pretty sure that we thought, oh, Lord have mercy. Just got the new thing and I broke it. All right. So I wanted to get the birdhouse here done because I got to have this birdhouse to be able to know where I'm going to hang it. I want to get that birdhouse over here as far as I can. So I have a little line that is like the um, hanging of the birdhouse. So I'm gonna go above this, and then I will glue that on there like so. And we'll just gonna put some adhesive and be done. Okay. All right, now let's go on to these little squares. The little triangle, I want just a section of the branches. And I'm gonna glue those little birds on afterwards. I'm just gonna put a branch on here. It does not matter how much of the branch you see. It doesn't matter the angle, any of that. You just put them on there. Okay. All right. Now we're going to go on ahead and put these on the little mats that we already have. Yeah. I'm going to get it, girls. I'm determined I will get this figured out. But right now, I'm running behind. And I'm going to my snail. Jim's talking to his sister about the retreat. I hear him in there, and he's telling him that he has to cook, and he's telling, the, telling them that he is going to be, he's just the pool boy. <laughs> Okay, like so. And then this one. Now this adhesive is not nearly as strong as the seal. So the seal will actually go farther. It, you get more on the roll and it goes farther, okay? All right, so we've got all of this done. We've got our card put together, okay? So we're gonna go on ahead and we're gonna take the time I am to just color these in because I can tell I'm in good shape. So I'm just gonna color in the leaves. I will tell you that you can also look this card up and they have used it as a pop-up. I didn't get the pop-up figured up last night. I was playing with it and I was running out of time. <laughs> And so I decided I was going to leave it like this. To do the pop-up, though, if you think of the pop-up cards we've been doing, we've had that half-inch um, or quarter-inch little box rolled up underneath it, and then we adhere it so that it will lay flat when we pick it up. You remember last week's card where we had the double well, that's similar to this one, but, and here's where I was, I was not sure what was going on. To do that, they adhere it here and here, and you have to cut about a half of an inch of the corner off so that it will pop up and then it will move over when you fold it. And I wasn't sure about the whole folding and cutting this off yet because I really wanted that whole, I needed that spot for the bird birdhouse. So that's why I did what I did. That's why I've done what I've done. Okay. All right. We're going to very quickly color these in. And I'm hoping by Wednesday I will have figured that pop-up mechanism out for the technique class to up it up, bump, bump it up a little bit amp up the card. Okay. 
a little more and we're not too far from being done. Hope everybody had a good weekend. We had a busy weekend. We had all the kids here and it was so nice to have them all here, but oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I, I discover I don't handle chaos very well. And I have to close my eyes or wear horse blinders so that I don't see all of the everything everywhere. But that's part of life, isn't it? And Jim just kind of shakes his head at me and I, I will step aside and on occasion I have to actually go and get off by myself for just a few minutes and breathe. And then I come back and I'm okay again. I don't know if that's, I'm sure my mom and dad did the same thing. You know, always, my dad always said, I love to see the little angels come and I love to see the little devils leave. And I know that we've had multiple people say that. All right, so now let's do these, okay? So I want the point of my triangles to meet in the middle. And to do that, I'm going to go from the DSP to the DSP, hopefully. And I can only adhere on half of the triangle. So I'm going to turn it over. And I'm going to try to use this one again because it is the stronger of the whole adhesive. All right, there it goes. Jonna, are you using this adhesive now all the time? It just is not gonna go. So we're gonna go to glue. Cause the snail will not be enough to get it to hold. Same thing here. And I'm gonna make sure that I'm at the corner and the corner and I wanna make sure I have no adhesive showing back here. Use the mat, works great for me, yes. Okay, so I need the acrylic mat. I was gonna bring it out last night and I didn't get that out here, so. All right. And I do think it goes farther, Jonna. Again. Some Tombo. And my point and my point match. Make sure I have no adhesive on the back. And I'll press. Okay. So now here is the trick. I want my card to cover up, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna lay it in here first. Trying to even up across so that these are going from corner to corner. I don't think I'm even. side is not quite up. It's hard to be able to see the, the pattern if I'm even. So when I lay this down, perfect, perfect. It hides the birdhouse, it hides the branches, you see the birthday wishes, and there it is when you open it. Now, what I'm gonna play with is to see if I can get this to line up here so that this 
is on a pop-up. It's on a little bit of a, of a box and it will be glued right here in here. And then this is freestanding, so it will lean over and come back. Lean over and come back. But for today, this is what we got, all right? I will cut out my birds. My little birds will be on here, and I will glue those on. And we have the diamond trifold. Okay. And I believe we are just about, we have just enough time for me to do this. So for those of you that are coming to the retreat, make sure that if you have, there are several of you that have bought your own um, stamp set, and that's fine. You just have it at your table. But I will have four or five sets there for people to use. Um, but bring your black memento ink, bring a paper cutter, and then if you have markers that you don't want to have to get up and go and hunt for markers, I will have, again, there'll be three or four set, uh, four or five sets of markers. I don't know what all I have ordered. There's more coming today. Okay. Then you can work on them at your table throughout the day. Um, main thing though, be sure you want to bring that paper cutter because you will be cutting your own DSP. You will have a full package of DSP of the gingham. So you'll have plenty of gingham paper to take home. I love this paper. I am really going to miss it. I've always been a gingham person. I like plaids. My couches, I would have plaid couches and pillows and dish towels when I was in that country thing. Oh my gosh. All right. I wish they had birds so they didn't have feet on them. I know I could cut the birds off, but okay. We're going to finish this up and have it done. Okay. They actually do have three or four birds in the stamp set. Oh, and if you have, like, I know, um, Tina, you have the stamp set, I think, coming. It's in my sack that I'll be bringing for you tomorrow. Um, if you are working at your own table and you have your own stamp set, be sure to throw in blocks. You'll need several blocks, okay? Okay. All right, Jonna, you have, you, de I'm determined to stay with you on this snail to try it. All right. Okay. So let's get a little dab of glue. Just a little. I'm going to glue all these down and we're going to make it and I'm going to get my card. I've already got the PDF typed up and I will get it posted immediately. Okay. Chris, I want you to look. I've got these going. There it is, guys. Now I've got a little glue so I can't push that down very far until that dries or it'll stick. There's our card. Just like that, diamond trifold, opens up to the big one, and your greeting is on the back, okay? All right, I have the PDF and the measurements. Be sure to go on my blog and you can print those off. And have a great day, and I am off for hair appointment. So we will talk later find some time to craft and I will see some of you in a couple of days and I will see a couple of you in a week and coming up. So, all right. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.